In this episode, Pinterest worthy food hacks. I'm going to teach you how to turn an ordinary apple into a beautiful swan. Now all you need is a sharp knife, an apple and a little bit of practice because this one isn't quite as easy as it looks. Grab your apple and you want to cut on both sides of this. One side off. Sometimes it helps to have a longer knife. And I've cut the other side off. A little bit crooked, but never mind. That's why you need practice. So people, this is where it gets complicated. What I want to do is I want to cut like a wedge. So that's one part. And then I'm going to go a few millimetres down and do another wedge. So I've got my second piece done. Do this as many times as you can until you reach the bottom. So you just follow the same steps and move your way down the apple. So I've got one side done. So you want to do exactly the same thing on the other side. Oh, okay, good to go. So now that I've cut my wedges out, I've just got to put it together just like this. And then that creates a nice swan wing. I'm going to grab this bit of my apple and I'm going to place the wings in just like this. But I can put that aside and you want to grab the center that you cut out. Cut one part of it off. Cut the neck out. And there is your swan head. Now I just need to make a little hole so that I can slip this neck into. And there is my swan apple, baby. Look at that. Nice right. Wasn't that difficult. A couple practices would be better. <laughs> rainbow anything always looks good in photos. So I'm gonna teach you how to make some rainbow popcorn. So the first thing I need to do is make the sugar syrup. So what I have here is one part water and two parts sugar. Pour the water into the pot, add the sugar, wait for that to boil and once the sugar is dissolved just wait a little bit longer till it reaches a thicker consistency and then your sugar syrup will be ready. Evenly distribute it into separate glasses. Now I've got four glasses because I'm going to do four different colours. So now I'm going to add the food dye to my sugar syrup. So the next step is you just get some regular popcorn which I have right here and then you want to add your food colouring or your syrup to the popcorn. Hot. And then you want to mix your sugar syrup all through the popcorn. So basically you want to do the same steps with the other colours as well. So once you're done with all your colours, you want to place your popcorn onto some baking paper on a tray so that it dries and sets properly and cools down. The last step to do is just put it all into a bowl and it's ready for Pinterest pics. And there you have it, a bowl full of rainbow popcorn. Doesn't it look pretty? Very sugary. I'm not gonna eat it, I'm sorry. It's too much sugar for me. <laughs> but it looks pretty. <laughs> so now I'm gonna teach you how to make some marbled Oreos. You need some Oreo cookies, some white chocolate, and some food coloring. So I've got here with me blue and red. Now with your food coloring, it needs to be either gel or oil based. Like the normal food coloring is just not gonna work. So first thing I need to do is I need to melt the white chocolate in the microwave. So with using the microwave, you have to keep watch because the white chocolate will burn very, very fast. So every 10 seconds, you wanna open up the microwave and you wanna give it a stir. Okay, my white chocolate is ready. So now that I've melted my white chocolate, I'm gonna add some salad oil and what this does, it makes it less thick because the marbling is not going to work if it's too thick. So now to add the food dye. Swirl it around to create a marble effect. So now I'm going to coat the top half of this cookie. Now the trick is you can't go too deep and you can't go too shallow and kind of drag the cookie along and then bring it up just like that. Now you've got to let this set okay so I'm going to put it on a plate um, before it drips everywhere and do some more. So you just got to repeat this process and you can use as many colours as you want, whichever colours you like, and then it's going to look fabulous. Voila, ladies and gentlemen, I'm done with my cookies. Don't you think they look great? Ah, do. They look very yummy. I'm going to teach you how to turn your hard-boiled egg into a very cute little animal. All you need is a hard-boiled egg, a knife, some carrot, which I've already cut up just like this, and some sesame seeds. And you can use a skewer if you want. First thing you need to do is you want to grab your boiled egg and you want to cut a slither off like this. And I'm going to take out the yolk because we don't need that. The next thing you want to do is you just kind of want to dice it up. 
and then cut like a triangle, but just cut two edges, don't cut all the way, all right? So that's gonna form the ears. You wanna lift up the ear, and then you wanna get some of your diced egg on the side, and you just wanna stuff it in, so then it lifts the ear up. Okay, one ear is bigger than the other, but never mind. It's a special bunny. So next you want to grab your carrot and you just want to slice a little bit off like this. And I'm going to shove the nose in. Time to put the eyes on. So you want to grab two little sesame seeds, just place it on the bunny. And then with your skewer, you can adjust where you want to have the eyes. So basically with the sesame seeds, they would just stick on. I guess that's good enough. And then poke some holes here at the bum. Add some more egg for the bunny tail. And if you want to be really creative, you can put some more sesame seeds at the bum. Rabbit poo. I was just kidding, you don't have to put that. <laughs> now I'm going to show you how to make a little mouse. Okay, so same thing as before, just cut the bottom off. Now I've cut my carrot into a nice thin slice. You don't want it too thick because you need to wedge this into the egg later. So you want to make it as thin as possible so that it doesn't split the egg. And then I've got like a piping bag nozzle and that's going to cut the ears out for me. So I've got my two little ears and I've got my thin slice here which is going to be a tail and I've got my sesame seed again and these little red beans. And that is going to be the nose. You're going to put two little slits where you want your ears to be. And I'll put the thinnest bit inside the slit. I want to grab my skewer, put a little hole like this so that I can put my red bean in there. Stuff it into the face. And then I want to stuff my tail in the back. And lastly, you just got to put the two sesame seeds for the eyes. And there you go. Super cute, really easy to make. Your kids will absolutely love it. It's Pinterest worthy, right? I'm going to teach you how to make Pinterest worthy fruit popsicles, okay? So all you need to have is your favorite fruits, which I have right here. And I've got myself a popsicle mold and some ice cream skit, skit, stitch, sticks. <laughs> Oh, and some apple juice. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna shove my fruit inside my mold. Don't pack them too tight because you will need to put some apple juice in it later. Okay, so you just gotta make sure the colors are nicely mixed so that it just looks pretty in the end, just alternate the colors. Now that I've filled up my molds, I'm gonna add the apple juice. Next thing to do is put the ice cream sticks inside the molds in the middle. Do not have to put it all the way through, obviously? Put it in the freezer and then it's gonna be Pinterest worthy. So I've frozen my popsicle sticks and there you go. Some nice fruit popsicles for you to eat on a nice hot summer's day. We've come to the end of this episode. If you didn't already know, I've started designing our own merchandise. You can go check it out at tandemmerch.com and hopefully you'll see something you like. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at rjt99 and if you really like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell button so that you can get notified every time a video comes out. Or you can simply download the free Click Network app to watch all of our videos before they hit YouTube. Thanks for watching, guys. Mwah.